back, bro. You okay? This is a mass casualty incident exercise, so we're getting several Inland Empire response agencies together in practice responding to an emergency, a simulated emergency in this case, where we have a, a gas explosion with 30 patients and the unique skills involved with responding to that kind of emergency. So we've got the Samuel Tribal Fire Department, the County of San Bernardino Fire Department, we've got the City of Highland and Cal Fire, as well as American Medical Response, three hospitals, uh, the regulatory agencies, and local police agencies. It's absolutely critical that we have an interagency approach to these kinds of exercises because when these incidents, the real world incidents occur, it's simply too big for one agency to handle alone. So the opportunity to practice these skills in an environment where we're working together and, and putting into play those skills that we learned in the classroom but putting them in a real world uh, simulated environment with our partners uh, is, is hugely beneficial to be able to make sure that goes smoothly on a real incident. The Samoa Fire Department, on behalf of the Samoa Tribal Government, is integrally involved with the emergency response in the Inland Empire Valley. Really, we have a closest appropriate resource response, and it really doesn't matter to the, those calling for emergency service what patch we have on. So us fire chiefs, m myself and my colleagues, take the approach that really getting the right resource, which is the closest qualified resource, irrespective of where it's coming from. And Sam Owell is, is integrally and actively involved in that paradigm. I think the people that put this together did a good job because, like I said, it ran smooth and it was a realistic scenario. 